supposed to want to help or something? Who are you on about? C-Rex? I say from now on we tie a goat to a chain outside. <laughs> She's close to him, Robin, that's all. Which of the girl guides brought these in? I just thought everyone would be sick of chocolate by now. In my experience, when a man brings treats to work, he's usually after something. Or someone. What? No, I'm, I'm not after anything. You've always reminded me of a marshmallow, Lofty. Uh, guys, I, uh, <clears throat> think I might have killed a patient. Is that bad? <laughs> well, I happen to like marshmallows, especially the thoughtful ones. How's the head, Dr. Hannah? Well, it's fine, thank you. We know you had good intentions. I'm fine, by the way, in case you were wondering, because one of us had to be a grown-up. How's the head? Well, it could do without all that pneumatic drilling going on outside. And what did Rita mean about good intentions? You have no idea what you did last night, do you? Ah, oh, this is going to be fun. How's the ball? Oh, not you as well. What? Oh, sorry, I thought you meant something else. Uh, never mind. What? OK, look, I need a favour. Um, just a place to crash for a couple of nights, OK? Um, look, I understand if you say no, but... Cal, you do remember I live on a houseboat with Dylan. Are you going to answer that? <laughs> sorry, this number keeps calling. Hello? Who was it? Bank manager or barmaid? Uh, sorry, it's, it's no one. OK. That's all right. Uh, Cal? Outside, see what's up here. All right, big fella. Let's get you out of here. I'm just there. Right, let's get him in. Good afternoon. Okay. Right, those of you requiring medical attention, you can go back inside, please. The rest of you. Clear the area, please. Come Excuse on. me. Madam. Max, can I ask you advice on something? I've kind of got myself into this situation where I think someone's into me and I want to put them off. But subtly, in a decent way. Right, well, let me start by saying that's a problem I never thought I'd hear from you. No offence. I think you're supposed to add no offence. Spoken like a man who regularly needs to clarify his intentions. In fact, let's use that. Lofty, you obviously hooked this girl by being a lovable gent, so it stands to reason that you should set her free by being the opposite of that, which is... Dylan. No offence. I mean, you've got to try to push someone. So, who is this soon-to-be-wounded woman? Uh, you don't know her. I've got to see Mrs Beecham. Hello, how are you doing? You're a dark horse. Little Cathy. Why didn't you say? Max, not now. Good reputation, slightly crazy eyes. So, how did you take to the new vibe? I'm not really sure I know how to be more Dylan. Momentarily forget everything you know about chivalry, respect and basic human kindness. Actively display a lack of empathy and, where possible, occasional disdain. In short, just be mean. Go on, try it out. Uh, never mind. Get your own. What on earth is going on with you lot? Ah, oh, chubby bunnies. Mm. <laughs> Get another bun. <laughs> Lofty, do you know where Sam's gone? Foo foo. Sort it out. Alfred's. Oh, Louise. Yes, I know the lights are going. No, I don't know why. And yes, I'm trying to sort it. Something about a bloke from Estates and a Celine Dion song. <sighs> yeah. You rest your weary legs. Zoe, how could you? What? Have you apologised? Oh, I can't believe Elliot Hope. Oh, I mean, we've all been there. Well, what was I meant to do? I came out of the disabled toilet and there was someone in a wheelchair, so I put on a limp and I pretended to be... That... That is what you're all laughing about, right? Um... No. no. I'll hang on to that image, though. Just so you know, the story going round is the one where you pinned Guy self up against a wall and gave him the whole upstairs, downstairs round about not supporting the ED. Oh, that's right, and then you were sick on his shoes. I wasn't. No, but yours is still worse. <laughs> um, guys, have you heard what's going on? Rita and Connie having to operate in the lift. 